Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, so last time I did not know what to do. Uh, I found that place that I think leads us to the Nosferatu hideout or whatever. Oh my god, please don't, don't attack me. Uh, and yeah, I found a tutorial kind of, a walk, a walkthrough, I guess. And yeah, I'm trying to sneak by these things, the maidens, that's what they're called apparently. Because I don't want to get attacked by them, but I think I will be attacked by this one. God, I hate them. First of all, they're freaking ugly. And they're freaking powerful, but apparently they're blind. Since I just literally walked like, I don't know, brushed past her and she didn't see me, so. So apparently we have to go down until we find an intersection. So that's what we're trying to do now. Is this the intersection, I guess? And there's an uphill path to my right. I do not know if I'm going the right way because I doubt it. So there's the place that honestly I oh, hello there. I think we went the wrong way. Um huh. Why does this have to be so freaking difficult? Why? the other way oh my god F you I'm not going to fight you I'm just going to run because these things are so freaking powerful it's not even funny It's so difficult to fight them. Oh, wait, I'm going the right way. We're supposed to find this guy, then he gets attacked by these things, and then we take this. Oh my god, please don't kill me. To that. Oh, okay, okay, run. Now let's run to the control room or whatever. Hello there. I think I escaped them. I'm not quite sure, but... Well, the battle music ended, so... I think I did escape. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. Even the ground's shaking as she's chasing me. Damn it. I hate those things. I really do. Okay, let's save right now. Nosferatu. I think it's the path to the Nosferatu. I don't know. Let's just jump in then. And hope we don't die. And it's so freaking dark in here. Now I kind of wish I hadn't installed any NB. Because visually it kind of makes it look better, but... It's too dark for me. I don't really like it. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. What the hell is this? Lucky star. Um, blood, maybe? No? I don't know. Oh, 
Okay, so that red pen, it hurts me. I see. Can't open that door. Oh well. Security down there at Trash 80. <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> um, uh, hey there. Uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email, not a self replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Maybe I'll just come back later. Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnip. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? McCroy's girl. Surprised you actually made it down here. Surprised? What do you mean? I've been following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> you're a funny guy. I just need to know where Gary is. Yeah, he knows why you're here. The Croys must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. The Croy knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. I'm just here to talk. Where can I find him? His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a few more questions to ask you. Go ahead. Hmm. Actually, I'm getting out of here. See ya, Mitnick. I just wanted to check if he has a side quest or something like that. Which he doesn't. Or maybe he will later. Who knows? Another door. Ooh, Beach. a goulette. I can't believe she got a cover of Glamorella this month. What? Who are you talking about? I mean, just look at her. Two fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? Slow down, cowgirl. What exactly are we talking about here? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene. She'd still be a fluff girl at vivisection, making ten bucks a stiff if I'm still around. Ugh. Who the hell is Tawny Sessions? Tawny Sessions and why did it zoom in on her poops? No talent whatsoever in scabby little knees. Do you know she got modeled a year before I got here? She would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. That's a good one. Uh, who are you, by the way? Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Imalia. Hey, Imalia. How come you hate Tony Session so much? Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. Well, why not just kill Tony? It'll probably make you feel better. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in the business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Sounds cool, so what's stopping you? Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. A 
Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big fat ass. Hmm. Maybe I could help you out. What would I need to do? I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. What else? Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into her computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, you'll be able to activate the cameras. What's in it for me? Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? Fine, I'll do it. You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too, too. Cool. Can I ask you a few more questions? Sure. Whatever. Okay. Nothing else. Uh, we'll do that. But first, let's find Gary, I guess, because, you know. I'm hoping there will be a faster way to enter and exit. Um, you know, the Warrens. Because I don't really want to run around through the whole five levels or whatever of this place and, you know, it takes a long time basically and I don't want to do that. Uh, oh, is this where I have to go? Well, this is not creepy at all. By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Where are you? Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. I just need to talk to you. We are talking, but you aren't listening, boss. Where are you? Let's talk face to face. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? What do you want? <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. I'm here about the Ankaran sarcophagus. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on his snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. Why did you ask them? Because I like the sound of my own voice. It's not every day we get visitors, boss. I needed to hear it from you. You're a long way from home, and neither the Prince nor Isaac nor Nimes have any domain down here. Tread carefully. Who are you? Show yourself. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Yes, come on out. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. I bet he's not even <laughs> that scary looking. I mean, none of the vampires in this game are, I guess. Yeah? Behind you, boss. Oh. Yeah, I can barely see your face. <laughs> Who are you? What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. A little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Delighted. Now, where's the sarcophagus? Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than May West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Because I got rid of that Timisi for you. Oh, my hero. 
Had it not been for that damn Shemisi, you'd still be searching oh, for the Shemisi. rocks for us. It was hardly oh. a favor, but I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? What's a Kuei Jin? The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Tell me more. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. I see. Go on. You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown. I'll give you what you need. Deal. Tell me what I need to do. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That eyesore is where you'll find the leader of the LA Kuei Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Aren't Kinja at war with the Guajin? Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Sounds dangerous. Got anything I can use to protect myself? Let's see what I got. Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods. But not if you're smart. All right, I'll go, but you better keep your end of the deal. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. It's as good as done. Bye. Miss me, boss? No. Okay. Do I exit through here? Let's hope so. Okay, so there's a ladder. And I can barely see where it leads. Ugh. Okay. A door. Oh, really? So it's in the... Is it called a mausoleum? I don't know where, what this place is called. I, I think it is. In the graveyard. How the hell do I exit it? If I could see... Oh, why the hell did I install the freaking ENB? Oh, okay, we're out. Now let's get the hell out of the graveyard. The cemetery. It's the same thing. Because I don't really like it. It kind of scares me a bit. A little bit. Just don't like walking here. <laughs> Although I know nothing is going to attack me, I think. Okay, so now we know the quick way to. I want to call them the ghouls, but I know that they're the Nosferatu. Okay, I'm stuck. Um, how do I exit this place again? Through this hole. It's funny how they made a load screen right there, you know, at least it's a different area, although they 
could have prob although no this game was released in 2004 so they probably couldn't have made it anyway i'm just blabbering although maybe they could have because more ruined it's a big game. <laughs> oh my Saguaro falls will make you wet okay uh so first let's see let's check our quests I spy Barabbas. Gary wants you to find his spy Barabbas who was sent to Chinatown and disappeared. He, al he has also told you your first step should be to talk to Ming Zhao at the Golden Temple. Okay. Model citizen. Amalia wants you to plant and activate cameras in Tony Sessions' apartment in Hollywood. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. Okay. I should actually google who the hell I should bring to Vandal but I don't know if I want to do that quest I, uh, I should come back to my apartment and get the money as well from business cards okay so we do have so first let's uh, do the tiny sessions quest um she's straight her apartment is Lucky pun. Uh, I forgot where he told me, not he, she told me where the apartment is. Across the street from something. It's in here, I think. So now we'll have to probably be really sneaky, right? Can I use my ravens to, you know, just in case? Nine lives. Celebrity Ash Rivers walks away from deadly crash. Okay. It's so quiet in here. I don't like it. Why is there no sound in here? Okay, so this is Tani's apartment. And she's probably in here. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh frick, oh damn. Now let's leave. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so freaking stressed right now. Ah. Oh, okay. They didn't see me. I did it. Oh my god, and I didn't kill them. Oh my god. Okay. I need to calm down. It wasn't that hard. So should I just go back? Let's go back to Emily, I guess. You successfully planted the cameras in Tani's apartment for Amalia. Log into Tani's computer using the password Cleopatra to activate the ca Oh my god, I have to go back in there. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's let's save our game. Okay, so it wasn't that hard. Apparently they're blind. Or am I that good at sneaking? I don't know. Well, my stealth is really high actually, so... This would probably be more difficult as if I was playing an Asferatu. I tried playing a playing an Asferatu once. Uh, and basically I just... Uh, 
Okay, we did it. So I tried playing an Asperati once in the game. I played the beginning. Basically, I went out to the street and I was seen by every freaking thing. And I don't know. It could be fun, a challenge, obviously, to play as an Asperati, but I didn't really like it. I, I don't really like it when games are too hard in a way. And this game, basically, it's... I don't know. Obviously, there are people who have played this game as enough for as you completed it, whatever. Maybe you should watch a video or something. Because I kind of want to play as an as... I don't know, I'm just babbling about being an Asferatu. Okay, here she is. <laughs> Did you see the papers? She killed herself! Can oh my. you believe it? After the story hit the tabloids, she swallowed half a bottle of Valium and washed it down with a fit of gin. It couldn't have been more perfect. I tried to be thorough. Now hand over the cash. Here, you definitely earned it. Thanks, see ya. Hey. What's up, Amalia? You got a few minutes to talk? Sure, whatever. Um, so we don't really get a lot of information about what happened now, do we? Oh, okay. <laughs> Taji session. Supermodel cut in a threesome with boyfriend Lama. Yeah, so... If you thought that, you know, Amalia is being cruel by doing that, I mean... The girl had the threesome with that Lama, so... Um, I, I don't know what to say, what else to say, <laughs> that, that's what happened. Uh, so okay, we can finally get out of the warrants and not think about them, for a long time at least, because I don't remember if there are any quests associated with us going back to this place. Probably there are, I don't know. Okay, why is it so difficult to go through the doors in this game, I don't know, but it is. Now I kind of want to go back to downtown and collect my money, drink some blood from my ghoul because I need it, uh, drink some blood from my ghoul and what else do we need to Maybe we should go to Santa Monica to the junkyard see that side quest that we got before. Because, you know, the more points we get, the more skills we upgrade, the better, the easier the quests will become. So let's go find a taxi so that we can go to downtown first, collect our money, drink blood, all of that. I'm repeating myself, I know, I'm sorry. Where the hell is the taxi? He's over here. Great. And we can finally go to Chinatown, I believe, where we can buy a katana, which I really, really right. want. Yeah, just drive. Yeah, we can go to Chinatown. Uh, let's go to downtown first. The downtown. Now I need to find my apartment. 
Uh, skyline apartments, right? Which floor? I don't remember. I think we don't. Re oh, we can check our mailbox. Yeah. Because I f forget the floor that I live on, apparently. Yeah, and that's not good. But who cares? Uh, fourth floor. Money clip contains $150. A lot of money left flying around. I need that. And we should also check our email. Maybe we have quests or whatever because it's been a while since we checked it then. We sometimes get quests on our computer. Did I say laptop for I don't remember? Uh first I need blood. Um the hell are you? What the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit! I'll kill that crazy bitch! Line three, you are speaking to me. Calm down, there's been a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. It's a weekday. Touche. Yes, whatever. After I drain you, you won't even know what year it is. What the hell does that mean? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Hey! I'm here. I've got a secret to tell you. Did she bring him here for me to jump? Ah, she's so nice. She treats me well. I don't know how she brought him here, but let's not kill him. Okay. Uh, four and red emails. Let's see. Uh, number six. Your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf blood. Please find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't already done so. The Kuroi. Nine. I have a certain financial interest in a restaurant in Hollywood called the Tiavoledi Cafe. I have made an offer on the establishment that is more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss, remiss to accept. I don't know. It is my understanding that a renowned food critic named Tammy Fladen will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon. Please intercept him there and make sure the review is unfavorable. Like Rory. Makes sense now. Ten. The cost of an attack is often paid later from a friend. Okay. Hey boss, did some spring cleaning today. Came across something that might tickle you. A kid used to live here had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psych open up Jeanette Vorman. I got a touch of nostalgia, so you find a copy of Tap Hotel starring me, I'll trade you a poster of that luscious lunatic for it. Put the videotape in your mailbox and I'll deliver it to your haven. Okay. Uh, Santa Monica. Wait a second. Candidate Michael Redmond sparks sports utility vehicle. Three months later, there are two separate. Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do. TV in his area. Is Democratic candidate Michael Redmond's to blame? Can you afford to take that chance? Can your children? Oh, it's from Gary. Robert Thor, a candidate that has never committed vehicular homicide. Um, Michael Redmond's has never publicly stated this. Okay, so let's go to the adult store and see if the tape is there. Oh, here she is. Oh, you're back. I, uh, I went out this evening and I, well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I, he came back here with me and, well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. He had previously said he was against why we have courts with frivolous lawsuits. Wouldn't this make him a hypocrite? Ah, I love coming home to find dinner waiting. Thank you, my pets. I'm just glad you're pleased. Um, he's in the bathroom. Don't worry, I locked him in. 
I'll go help myself. Okay, we already did that. I'm so glad you're back. Ew. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more, please. Faster. Just a few drops. Yes, of course. Come here, my pet. Thank you. Amazing. I feel so much better. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. Yes, isn't that cute? I'll see you later, Heather. Bye. I feel weird when I'm around her. Okay, so let's go to the adult store first, see if he has the tape. I was... I, I can't... why? Why does he need... I shouldn't question these things. Oh, we have to go... to... to, to do Hollywood. Yeah, back to Hollywood. Get lost. I'm happy I'm making longer episodes. I like it more. I mean, I don't know. It just feels better to me. Hop in. Oops, that was an accident. And now, where's the store? I forget. Um, not over here. Or is it here? Yeah. What can I do to you, honey? Yeah? What do you want to know? Okay. So, he doesn't have anything? Uh, I didn't really get a quest, did I? I mean, Gary asked me to bring that tape to him, but... Oh. Okay then, I will end this episode right here everybody, I hope you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe if you did, comment down below whatever you please, and I'll see you in the next episode, goodbye.